My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Nah, I don't want to bother them. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Where can I get a drink? A drink? You can wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. Oi. So, tell me about Loon. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loon today! Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics, I just get carried away. Hi, yourself. Hi. Nice hat. Hi. Nice talking to you. Hi.
be a fireman. I'll get lost, boy, you bother us. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through. The three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get ye a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're particularly vicious. You might be able to drug him or something. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. 
The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Hey, you can't come back here. Cozy. Boiling hot. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you in it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. 
No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Thop. Weasel. Weevil. Me. Miscreant. Tony. <clears throat> Say there, son. How do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Oh. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is a get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Oh, 
only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. What may I help you with, son? Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... is... Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Mm. Ah, ah, <laughs> get away! Hey, don't mess with my rat. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Yeah, and bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. So, you're gonna give me a little attitude, huh? I'd better get your name. 
I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Looking for a sword master, are ya? Looking for a little thigh-finger discount, it looks like to me. See if I ever trust you again, devious little shoplifting weasel boy! Maybe you'd like to pay for that? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. I'll take it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything.
Stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor-sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smirks and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. None shall pass. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Thirty pieces of eight? I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. 
A monkey leash with three collars? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. I think it's a herring. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I guess you're right. What do you want? I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I guess you're right. What do you want? I guess you're right. What do you want? I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. No, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. You fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against 
The machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. No! Beat first, then learn! Distance! Use your forte against the foible. Watch your footwork. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, first, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh, yeah? 
I give up, you win. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hope you had something more important to stop me for. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You fight like a dairy farmer. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Where did my sword go? Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your elf. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. You have the manners of a beggar. He must have taught you everything you know. Yikes, nice move. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, yeah? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Uh, could you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. I said... 
I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uncle! Uncle! What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Why? Did you want to borrow one? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? I give up, you win. This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Bop, you win. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? Boy, are you ugly. What an amateur insult. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die.
This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I'm not gonna take your insulin sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uncle! Uncle! Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! What should be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor, after all. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Uncle! Uncle! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I'm not gonna take your insulin sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh?
You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You make me want to puke. Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? Move out of the way or I cuts my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Eh, yeah, now that you mention it, they do. Eh, yeah, he's probably just that we're tired. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way.
eye, what an unusually bright yellow they are. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons.
How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. You make me think somebody already did. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. I don't think I can get past them. I don't think I can get past them. I'm not going near them.
Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester's shine top. the red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Hack! <laughs> Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. They're yak-sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. I think it's some kind of religious text. I bet this will come in handy. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! 
Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. you go i hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the sword master who by the way says you can go jump in the lake and when i come back whew, you're gone see if i ever do you a favor again ungrateful little shoplifter what do you want i could really use a breath mint whew, you're telling me here take one please Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? Do you have files? Did you mean hanging files or nail files? No, the metal kind you used to open locks with. Ah, sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, Fancy Pants. Ooh, that's refreshing. Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel. Rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. I can't stand carrot cake. Hey. This might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake.
I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It belongs in a museum. Ta! Ah! What's going on here? I caught. Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. Museum, eh? Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Jeepers, that... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. Girl... I see. Well... You're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull! Rufenkiv! And Gwingly? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important. To risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day.
rusty but sharp. And I can't reach that from here. 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 Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, governor, why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. And it's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Chuck and his spectral crew came and got her. her. Away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The Ghost Pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs>
already got What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye aye, Captain. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. Make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate, 
A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Malay Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Oh, no more than 172 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I tell you, I got a feeling you're going to leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Hmm, I think it could support my weight. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? Uh, 
I was hoping you would have an idea. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, no. We could get a ship and a crew and go rescue her. What an idea. No. If we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 Oh! That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I... Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I won't let you down! Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea! Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. <laughs>